Hey, well it's range day out here with the uh, 223 long range precision rifle and a 308 long range precision rifle. Loading my magazines with the Fiocchi ammo. Gonna uh, shoot some rounds down range. See how this ammo performs. See how the rifle and the scope perform. Went out to the uh, range of Fort Gordon today and it was close to uh, rifles. They're having an archery thing out there. So, you know, you win some, you lose some. It's going to rain the rest of the week. Today it's going to be in the 70s. So, we'll get out there to Fort Gordon and film the long range. Uh, Iron Silhouettes uh, are whacking them and see how that goes. Anyway, this is the range. As you can see, the target, the first target is uh, 100 yards. And the second target's 300 yards. Uh, this is my rifle setup, as you can see. Anyway, we're gonna see if we can send some rounds down there and see what it's like. I got my ammo loaded up. My junk there. Moved around here, uh, positioned a little better. So I'm not totally in the sun. This Leatherwood M1200 scope, uh, it's got some nice caps on it, and it's got the target turns. And you can reset them back to zero, so there's no problem with that. Well, I'm going to fire my first round.
we'll go see how we did. Well, we're at the target at 100 yards. As you can see, this is the first group I fired. And this is the second. So I, I come up and come back over a little bit. So I gotta come up about two more clicks at 100 yards, and then we'll go for the 300 yard target. Anyway, using the uh, Leatherwood 1200. Now as you adjust your cam, the front of your scope goes down, which elevates, which does the opposite when the front goes down, uh, the bullet strike comes up. So at 10 power, or at, uh, at infinity, on the scope, adjust it all the way out to zoom in on here. Um, at 100 yards, you're shooting right over the target. So you zero it at the, the three, 3 power. And at 3 power, this is where it was keeping the scope. So I'm going to come up about 2 two more clicks up and I should be right on target and we'll be shooting at this bottom target next so, and then we'll go to the 300 yards well this is black rifle out here at the range uh, testing out the M1200 uh, Leatherwood Hilux scope beautiful scope the cam is not totally round so when you adjust it, you'll notice the mount moves. It elevates the, uh, it actually brings up the rear of the scope and it, and it has the opposite effect. It shoots over the target if you were to put this on to zoom all the way in with it. Uh, you'd be shooting over the target at 100 yards. That would be set up to hit a silhouette target at three th uh, at at a thousand yards. So there you go. We we'll go from here. Um, and come back and go to the second target after I make my adjustments. I'm going to come up two clicks, I think, maybe three, and uh, should be hitting, knocking the center out of this thing. And there you go. That's the black rifle. Well, here's my first three. And then there's my next three. So that's six shots. 100 yards on the Black Rifle Special Target. <laughs> All these are, folks, is uh, 25 meter zero targets for uh, the uh, M4 rifle. So uh, the silhouette looks kind of small at 100 yards. So it's, it's dime sized groups, you know, sub MOA. I built a pretty good rifle. Um, we're going to go with the 308 now and see where that's doing. So uh, we'll try the 308 next. And we're going to look at uh, the first target up here. This target right here with the 308. It's got a primary arms uh, scope. They think, uh, they think a lot of it. Their scopes ain't crap. I don't like it. I like the reticle and everything, but I don't like uh, the snarky attitude from their customer service. I called to ask a question. I bought the scope on a rifle from a guy. Had it on a 308 uh, Springfield M14. So I bought the whole shooting match from him for 800 bucks. I got a good deal on that. Anyway, it had this scope on it, and I called and asked about it. And what a what a snarky attitude uh, from their customer service. Uh, I guess he's a vet. He thinks he knows everything. He's uh, uh, he's an asshole. <laughs> you know what can you say? You know you meet assholes every day. There's a lot of them on YouTube too. But anyway, I just call it like it is. Looks like a pretty nice scope. We'll see. We shall see. Anyway, I like that Leatherwood M1200 uh, sniper scope. It's it's made for what it does. And it's uh, doing it to it. 
And this rifle I built. It's got a 223 wild chamber. One and eight twist. And I love it. I absolutely love this rifle. Anderson 24 inch barrel. I sent it out. I bought this in pieces, you know. And I uh, got a Palmetto State Army uh, lower on it in stock. And uh, you can't beat it. You're on a budget. And you're a retired I don't have a whole lot of money to blow 1200 bucks on a scope. Who needs that shit? You know, that's exactly what it is. I can, if I went in a match today against somebody with a $1,200 scope and I used my Leatherwood $600 to $700 scope, I do I score just as good as he does at 1,000 yards. Just as good. Shoots just as well. It's all about them four fundamentals of rifle marksmanship. Look it up. I, I, I profess that. If you memorize that, you will hit the target every time and your groups will be tight <laughs> no doubt about it well we're gonna pull up uh, the uh, the uh, the next rifle which is a 308 and we're gonna we're gonna try and uh, uh, see how that shoots and uh, be right back stay tuned okay. 100 yards, 3 shots. Blew the center out of that target. Let's go down range and check it out. Six shots. Three th shots with the 308.
Okay, let's go down range and check it out. Okay, I got it zeroed at 100 yards. Uh, had a little problem. But anyway, we're going to shoot on the bottom right target, the bottom far right target, and uh, see how we group. And then we'll go out the 300 yards and see what we do there. So let's let's do that. Run out of that magazine of ammo. We'll have to try three of these. Three of these ballistic tips. Yeah, you shoot different. <laughs> I'm going to shoot all them ballistic tips up and I'm going to add 308 ammo. Anyway, it did pretty good. <coughs> we'll go out to the range and look at the target. Well, I swish cheese the target. This is the first zeroing it. This is the first group. This is the second group. This is the third group. And I brought it down too low and I come back up. And it's sitting right here. Sub MOA, buddy. Same here. Uh, that's two rounds there. And this is three rounds here. As I run out of the uh, 168 grain. These are ballistic tips and you can see the difference in how they fly so uh, we're going to go back up here with the 223 and see how we do with that uh, we're going to do both of these with the 223 uh, with the uh, leatherwood m1200 instead of that uh, uh, other scope I like the reticle on that other scope, it's nice. 